Hello Pimp players. today we will speak about Derek Torres. He is a table tennis player born in Bayamón, Puerto Rico. At this moment he is 24 years old and since 2017 is in the top 10 of his country. For sure if he is being mentioned in this channel is because he used Long Pips OX, specifically from Dr. New Bauer who sponsored him since 2021. And some of his achievements include 2019 second place in national doubles, 2022 Champions University League, 2023 second place in the first teams division in Florida, USA. As he is an OX Long Pips player with a defensive style close to the table, I asked him to send me a video of him playing for analyzing in the channel. He kindly replied with this video from 2023 in USA. Hi. Since the beginning we can see his intention to attack with his pips, then we can start checking his setup. Derek uses the Colossus Blade that has the particularity to have two different sides, one slower than the other for defensive rubbers. In the faster phase of the blade he uses the Jula Razor and in the slow one the all-round premium 2 in OX also from Dr. Neubauer. And why it seems so easy for him to attack? Simple, all round premium has vertical alignment and the second version has texture in the top of the pips that helps player to lift slow balls. We can notice here that his opponent has experience against pips because he identified so well the backspin that came from this attack. The flick with the long pips is one of his main weapons. Look at the initial position of the flick, with the racket facing down and turning completely up. This is an interesting point for being analyzed. First, we have a strong push with the pips, well identified by the opponent who made a loop, then the answer of Derek is an attack that goes with backspin and instead of doing another loop, the opponent attacked to the front sending the ball to the net. Look how interesting, many things for checking here. We can analyze this point since the moment of Derek serving with backspin. His opponent gives him back the underspin. And the reaction of Derek is so good, opening the racket 90 degrees, sending the ball with top spin. Then the opponent again read the spin so well and attack this ball to the front. Ok, we will go deep in this topic of the spin with the long pips. We can use this point as an example. Derek serves with backspin. The opponent does a flick inverting the spin. Then Derek attacks sending backspin with not much spin. This is why the opponent can attack increasing the spin. But the second attack of Derek comes with more backspin making the ball difficult to lift. Look at the good location of this ball. Although the reaction of the opponent was fast enough and with the right movement against the spin. If the opponent was reacting well before and identifying the different spins, why he got confused here? In the slow motion we can see that Derek twiddled the racket. Then when he hit the ball, he inverted the spin. Expecting a backspin, the opponent made a top spin with the racket open sending the ball out. Not always you need to chop against backspin coming from the pips stroke. Hitting the ball with more top spin can be also an option. In this point we have everything. Attacks with the pips, blocking, chop blocking, such a pity the attack at the end. With 0-2 in the score and making surf mistakes, the best thing that he could do is to slow down a little bit the timing of the match and looking for solutions.
Sometimes the solutions arrive by their own. Like here, when thinking that the ball would go to the right, Derek twiddled the racket, but the ball went to the left, then he chopped with the inverted rubber, confusing the opponent. In this game, he was using more this flick with the pips. For sure, not always with the same results, but it was a good solution for starting the attack by himself instead of giving the initiative to the opponent. Using the spin coming from the backspin, Derek sent back a topspin. Look at the big amount of spin in this topspin. But the opponent again was reacting so well and reading the different spins coming from the pips. As we said before, with the tight result and the opponent winning the last three points, it was a good moment for a timeout. Table tennis is a sport where the mental aspect is so important. If you are losing, you can really go down fast in the score. How good reaction here after this net ball? Because the pips sent the ball with not much spin, boom, a good attack. But from here on, Derek started to play so well, making his own game, pushing strong and defending with the chop block. Here, a good example of the importance of the body position for chop blocking. In the first chop block, he has not an stable position, and he impacts so much the ball, increasing the spin less. In the second one, the position is more stable and the movement follows the spin, even going a little bit back. In fact, the result is a difficult ball for the opponent. And at this moment was his opponent who asked for the time because Derek was coming back in the score. Again, how important here the mental aspect. But again, Derek keep his game style getting what he needs to do. Actually, in this point, we can see how Derek uses the spin coming from the opponent, opening the racket to the side of the table for sending him out with a long push. And although the reaction of the opponent is good, he attacks to the opposite side with the pips, making a difficult ball for being catch. And when it seems the opponent would come back with this good attack, he had this fail which makes him mentally down. Actually, it was the break moment in the match with this 1-2 in the score. From here on, Derek used the basic principles of the pips. It means attacking against chops and chopping against the attacks. This is the best way to use the spin in our favor. Look another good example of how to use the spin for our own benefit. Here the ball has this lateral rotation and Derek moving the racket laterally increased this spin, making the ball goes out because of it. This mistake is so common between players with pips. After a chop, chopping again with the pips gives us a result a ball with not much top spin, easy to be attacked. Look here how the movement of the serve seems to be lateral with rotation to the right. But in the slow motion we noticed that the impact was before sending the ball with lateral spin with rotation to the left side. This was so well understood by Derek who increased the spin laterally down, making a difficult ball for the opponent. These kind of edge balls are mentally painful, especially when the result is adverse. But life continues, then here a couple of extra examples of increasing the spin laterally, making the opponent send the ball out. And with those points, the match get in a 2-2 where everything can happen. This last game was so tight, both were doing really good points and showing the best of each one. But as I said before, table tennis is a mental sport. When you go mentally up, you have the advantage. And this is that happened here. Derek came from a 0-2 to a 2 both, and this had a big influence in this last game. And although the opponent was making great points, Derek used so well the momentum of the game and break the serve in very crucial moments. And I will let you here with the last points, hoping the analysis was interesting for you. If you like, then press the button of like, <laughs> it's logic. 
and then comment which will be the next topic or player you will like I check here. Also in the descriptions are the instructions for supporting the channel, just clicking on them you are really helping me a lot. Thanks and bye peoplers!